good day. We're here down in beautiful Naples, Florida, about to install a 16.38 kilowatt residential solar system for our new solar homeowner. Anybody else is interested in going solar, by all means, comment on this video below and we can help you take control of your power. Now I want all of you to go forth and spread some sunshine. Right now we're wiring in the HC Wave 7600. What this unit does is taking the information from the power optimizers that are behind each panel and then collecting that data, letting us know what the performance of each indiv individual panel is doing. It also allows compensation of shading should a cloud come by or if the tree cover that's around casts a shadow on any of the solar panels. The box you see right here is where we put in the electrical disconnect. This way, in the event that there was an emergency, the power in the system could actually be shut down. Right now, it's just being hung on the wall, so nothing's been wired to it just yet. In this installation, we're going to have 16.38 kilowatts of electricity. So in this case, we went with two HD Wave 7600s. We just feel that it's better to have redundancy than just going with one single unit. This way, in the event that anything were to happen, we'd always have at least one continuing to operate. Here we have the main service entrance for all the electricity coming into the home. We also have the meter. This is where the electricity company is going to switch out and then put in a bi-directional meter. That will de determine how much power is coming into the home from the power company and how much is going out from the excess power produced by the 16.3 kilowatts of solar energy. Every home has its challenges. For instance, the service panel for this home is mounted on a corner. On the side of it, there's space for the storm shutters to fit, but that limits the space where we can install the combiner box and the disconnect. So therefore, we had to work around this corner to get everything on in the right place. Here we have the mounted, the SolarEdge HD Wave 7.6 inverter. 
This is going to take the information from the individual power optimizers that are connected to the solar panels themselves to track their performance and adapt to any shading from clouds or any trees that might cause that for the solar panels. Now we're wiring in the sub panel. This way each inverter has a circuit breaker that can be tripped or that can be turned off if the system needs to be serviced. this inverter minus the DC runs through the attic and like I said I've got to power up this panel I've got to power up this disconnect which will then power up this panel and the inverters so tomorrow I'm gonna to run conduit from here to here pull a wire land them there and from here to here good day we're here in lovely Naples Florida getting ready to install 5.68 kilowatts of electricity for this new solar homeowner if you're interested in going solar, reach out to us on social media by commenting below or on our website, simplygosolar.us, and we can help you get your solar options. Now I want all of you to go forth and spread some sunshine. Good day. We're here for the second day of our installation of the 16.38 kilowatt residential home solar system. The first day we worked on getting the electrical in place. Now today we're going to start putting the racking and the solar panels on the roof.
So now the team has got the first row of the footers in. From here, they're gonna add the extra rows. That way the panels can be placed on the roof.
on a 16.38 kilowatt residential solar installation. Now this homeowner chose to go solar and you can too. Comment or reach us through social media and we can get you set to find your solar options. Now I want all of you to go forth and spread some sunshine.